Hey guys, I'm super excited about this episode. I want to give you a little bit of history going into it, just so you can kind of maybe help solve this mystery. So about 20 years ago, an old timer took me hunting and he brought me up this draw and you would never find it unless someone showed it to you. It's really hidden. It's just this tight little <laughs> just trail in between two ridges. And then after about a half mile or so, it opens up into this just little teeny micro valley. And I think even from the top, you'd have a hard time seeing down in there just because of all the pines and everything. So it seems like a very secret, secret location. And the strange thing is, you know, at first you're thinking like home site. I didn't find any, you know, foundations or buildings, anything like that. And it's not really in an area where someone would go in and clean it up because, like I say, it's hidden. And so I think it's sitting pretty close to just how it's always been sitting. But the one thing is it's full of these old, really old apple trees. So anyways, my, my wife helped me do some research on this subject. And I think what, we've, what we came up with is that it was a hard cider distillery location. So apparently, prior to Prohibition, hard cider was the alcoholic drink of choice in America. And people really didn't eat apples because they were too pungent. So they would only use them in cooking, like, you know, pies or alcoholic beverages. So Prohibition comes along, and when they make alcohol illegal, they're looking at apple trees as like the source of the alcohol. So most of the orchards got cut down and, and burned. And then the, the apple growers, they you know still wanted to make a living, so they came up with new eating apples that were sweet. And they came up with the slogan, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But the problem is, is after Prohibition was over, we really didn't go back to hard cider because the trees were gone. It was just a whole new apple tree in America. So I think what they were doing at this site is they'd go up, you know, in the fall and probably right after, you know, the first frost and harvest the apples and just, you know, make them into hard cider. And then what you would do is you would bury the barrels for a year and then dig them back up and then it would be fermented and you would drink it. So legal or not legal, you'd kind of want to maybe a secret location to do this at because you don't want people to go digging up all your barrels when you're not there. So, and there was a bunch of weird holes. I wish I would have got that on film, but of course I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at, you know, while I was doing the dig. Um, and I'm hoping, because I, I will be going back, that I can get a little more evidence of, of what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe even find a barrel that they forgot to dig up or something. Wouldn't that be cool? But I think, quite possibly, thinking about, you know, the loss of these cider trees, that could really be the big treasure in this hunt, is those trees, because they might be the original cider trees. How cool would that be? Anyways, so if you guys have any other ideas of what this location might be, you know, throw it down in the comments because, you know, I'm not married to any of these ideas, but this is just my best guess of what's going on right now. So watch the video close, watch the clues. You'll see some of what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Thanks for watching. All right, Gunner and I, we're on a little adventure. So, I used to hunt back in here. And I remember a couple of big apple trees up a draw. They were kind of out of place. And I remember seeing some barrel rings. That was so long ago, I didn't even metal detect back then. So, yeah, we're going to walk in. I don't know, it's probably a couple miles. Check it out. See if we can get some treasure. I guess it's possible that I see a site on the way. But, well, we'll see what happens. 
I might have misjudged this walk. I think it's gonna end up being more like three or four miles, but that's okay. It's pretty around here, man. What a nice day in the woods. And hey, if we find some treasure, that'll be a total bonus. If not, well, I wasn't at work. Okay, I'm real close. This is kind of a little trail. It takes you across this creek and then it opens up into a little draw. I think I'm there. Let's see. So let me show you how tight this is. I got a hill here. I got a hill here. And there's just kind of a little trail up through here. It's definitely, someone used to live up here. This is definitely grown back over. But definitely a main animal trail. I was starting to doubt. I see this nice big opening. Why you don't even believe where this is? Middle of nowhere. Man. Somebody had to spend some time here. I mean, was there a home site? I don't know. But we're about to find out. I mean, when I just came up, you can hear how winded I am. <laughs> I mean, it could have grown over in the last hundred years too, but man, it's like a horse trail. So I don't even know if they were getting carts up in here. All right, let's check it out. Gear up and see if we can find any treasure. Yeah, this place is so neat. Let me just do a 360. So this is like a bowl. It's like a, just a little micro valley in the middle of the mountains. I mean, it's the mountains straight up every direction. And there's no real, real clear path in here. All right, I got a few hours. I don't have a ton of time. Let's see what we can get. All right, well, it looks like my first signal is going to be a horseshoe. That. All right. Well, they for sure got horses up in here. <laughs> that thing's in pretty decent shape, too. It's not really even all rusted out. All right. Let's keep going. I mean, I really haven't gone anywhere, but... I have my iron on. I just thought I'd check a few of these iron things. Looks like people have definitely been here. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff now. Yeah, well, there's some kind of old farm tool or something. I don't know. Looks like it came out of some equipment. Well, there's an old barrel ring. Yeah, there's been activity up here. I'll bring out as much of this as I can, but man, four mile hike. We'll see. All right, there's my first small target. Got an old shell. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, looks like I got my first relic of any kind. Some sort of a pants button. It says monarch of the west i'll have to research that see how old we think it is well there's the second one so maybe an article of clothes rotted away right here all right another 16 and i think i got another button of some kind what do we got here no uh, no Really doesn't look like a button. There's some sort of screw thing on the back. Yeah, I don't know, guys. You tell me. Weird. Well, there's a pail right on top. I don't know. I'm in kind of a little depression right here. Man, there's so much iron, you can hardly even believe it. There are so many big, crazy pieces of iron. There's got to be something good here. So I had a 13. I see something around. That's another Monarch of the West. 
This dude, I think, wore the exact same clothes everywhere. <laughs> this is not even close to the other two I found. <clears throat> well, there's another Monarch of the West one. So, if these were worth a lot of money, which I'm sure they're not, I'd be rich. There's another one. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. So I had another one, and then I had the same sound right next to it, and so I was just going to show you two. And then look, that time we actually got a clip. So there you go, guys. <laughs> Crazy. Cool, I think I got another little relic. Oh, yeah. Look at that, we got another. Another little clip. Clean it out a little bit. Yeah, that's a sweet little clip. And it still works. How crazy is that? So I have some sort of cap here. The weird thing is, I feel like all the letters are written in reverse. Can't figure out what it says. Huh. That's kind of neat. It almost looks like this is stapled, like a rivet. There's like a weird, you see that? Like a staple there. Look, it's still got leather in it. Interesting. Ooh, got my first fancy thing. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't know. Must be off like a piece of jewelry or something. It's definitely fancy though. That's neat. Well, the cool thing about this site is I don't think they're really hunting in here at all because it's so tight. There's really not a lot of like shells or slugs. So almost every small sound has been something. Awesome. Might have my best tone today. Could we have a coin? Or something cool? Man, I sure hope so. What a good sound. Yeah. Hear the ground vibrate. That's usually not a not too good of a indicator. Oh, what do we got? Well, it looks like we got a a rivet still on a piece of leather. That's what it is. Well, that sounds amazing. Oh man, I think I might have something cool. I haven't seen it yet. Oh man, look at that. Let's see what this sucker says. Pretty sure it says Shirley President. Looks like I found a few pieces of an old lamp. That's really cool. I got another clip. It's like clip heaven back here. Let's see what we got. This one's kind of fancy. Looks like it's that same brand. It says Shirley, Shirley President. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and another clip. <laughs> this has got to be. The most clips that I've ever dug in a day. That's crazy. Boom. Holy cow. Another one. Look at that. Same one. Surely for president. Crazy. What the heck, guys. And another one. 
<laughs> this is just starting to get bizarre. <laughs> well, unfortunately, guys, I just had a little sandwich. I only have about 40 minutes left. And then I got to hike out of here and make the long drive home. So I hate to leave. I mean, I know I can come back, but man, this is hot. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get. And yet another one. Is this just like <laughs> where these people dumped all their old clothes or something? Man, I'm so confused. <laughs> so I think I just dug two right here. Just so you guys can see that this is all on the up and up. I know, got a lot of skeptics out there. I mean, I don't know for sure this will be one, but I'm starting to think every one of them is going to be. Yep, and there it is. Oh. Okay, so that one wasn't one. It just looks like the piece of a one. Oh, there's more in there. Okay. Oh, another piece of it. What do I got? More right there. Look, another one right there. You guys ever seen a clip spill <laughs> and they're not all in the same spot but they are in the same general area i got a 12 13 there 12 13 there let's see what these are see if they're more clips i do feel like the number is a little bit different but the clips have been different See? Oh, dang it, I broke a piece off that one. But see, that one says extra heavy. <laughs> There's a little piece. All right, do you guys want to see the other one? Let's see if I can figure out where it was. Got my dog behind me. I'm trying to get a stick over to me. He doesn't think that these clips are important at all. He's all about his stick. Okay, so it's right there. This is just crazy. Sorry, I'm trying to do everything. Holding the camera with one hand and trying to navigate with the other. Not that easy. <laughs> that time, nope, another little piece of the clip, I think. Which means, what? There's another little piece. Yeah. All right. Okay, looks like we switched it up. I got me a button. This one says Crown Brand BNL. I think I have a little piece of jewelry. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. It must be like off the top of a ring or something. Yep, 
Yeah, I think I got me a little piece of jewelry. Boom. So I'm also finding lots of leather that have fasteners still in them. I have no idea. That's probably boot leather. It's probably where the laces hooked over right there. Well, look at that apple tree. Those down there, you guys see them? Right there, right there. Man, there, there's a few in here. Anyways, it's sad. I gotta leave a good spot, but we'll try and make it back here. Maybe I'll bring one of my buddies and clean this up a little better. It's a lot of area for one guy. And I know I missed a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you can see, but there's an apple tree back in there too. And then there's one up this draw up here. So somebody's been here. I don't know if this was just some sort of like base camp for guiding or I don't know what it was. All right, I gotta start the long march out of here. Well, I had to take a shortcut just to save time, but the unfortunate part is you can hear my breath. Whoa, straight up the mountain, guys. Okay, here's the wrap up. How neat is that? This is only like a three hour hunt, guys. And these Shirley for presidents. That's what it says, Shirley for president on the, uh, the clips. Turns out they have a patent date on them that says August 23rd of 92. So obviously 1892. So those are old. <laughs> you start thinking about how old they are and all that silver plating. So these guys must have had a little bit of money. But man, I, I don't know. Have you guys ever dug that many clips in one hunt? I sure haven't. That was crazy. Um, of course, we got the lamp piece, uh, shoe leather, and then all these buttons. And then we did get a couple pieces of jewelry. That is such a neat, neat piece of history. Like, I'm just totally geeking out over this. Like, just to imagine this secret place tucked up in the mountains where people were you know, making alcohol for prohibition and stuff. So, wow, what a cool hunt. Anyways, <laughs> if you guys like this content, hit that subscription, man. I'll be back up there. I can't wait for the next episode. All right, thanks for watching, guys.